So we found the big male spore here and this is literally half an hour old, is that right? Yes, exactly. You can see how fresh it is. Oh. So we've just missed him. We've been trying to track him and he's just been going down this road. It's a bit of a wild goose chase. Yeah. Well, we're close. At least we're in the right area. Yeah, exactly. We're on the track of a collared lion in the area. Equipped with handheld tracking devices, You'd think this would be easy. Leo just using a transponder there to try and pick up a signal of the line. He looked on the satellite uh, on the computer to see where the line was it's in this area, but still not getting the beeper from the signal from the collar. So it means he's probably more than three kilometers away, unless we get a beep, beep. What's the line's name? Uh, it's called Seduli. Seduli. I think he's probably moving fast. So I assume he has already crossed the road. So Julie is on the move. Time to get back in the car. We hope we'll get a signal further down the road. This part of Awangi is Kalahari Sands. It's getting really tough on the wheels of a vehicle. Let's go, Leo. Well, all we have is a piece of rope. Luckily, we have my Land Rover following, so we hooked it up to tow it out of the sands. Oh, stop, stop. Not only is it hard to track down lines, it's hard to drive through the line country. It's very hard. The clock is ticking and the sun is coming down. The lions are moving away. I want to head off but we can't go too far and abandon Leo's car. So he suggests trying to find the direction of Sir Julie's pride on foot. We're really close to the town. Surely they can't be here, the lions. This is Africa. He could be anywhere. Wow. Let's have a go. We actually have uh, a faint dipping sound. Can I have a go, Leo? Yes, of course. Yes, you can do the tracking now. Okay. So you hold the receiver there. Cool. Yes, and then this is how you hold the area. Yeah, try point. All, all directions. Oh, I think I heard the beep there. Okay. We've just heard a beep, so it's in that direction. I okay. Stayed. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let's go. Once we got the direction, we took our trusty Land Rover to take us a bit closer to what I hope will be our first line encounter. Surprisingly, the signal is taking us back toward town. They're over there. We've managed to track down the line. It's over here, you see. And here, we get a glimpse of the tail popping out through the bush. Wow, they're over there, only 15, 20 meters away, and you can't even really see them. I mean, lions, they're expert camouflage. This is kind of a, a shy pride. Yeah. They don't want to be seen. We tried to get a bit closer, but in the heat of the day, the lions are just moving further into the deep bush. You have to think like a lion. If you're a lion, what would you do? Oh, that was an amazing sighting, Leo. Even though this is within Cecil's domain, this isn't Cecil's pride. Now that was my first lion encounter on this trip, one that I'll never forget. What surprised me most about Sir Julie's pride was how these lions are so close to the communities. You would never notice the lions are here, but they are living among the people. <laughs>